Hey guys, I hope you are doing well with everything that is happening in the world. I thought I'd do a little sit down video just because I feel like I just want to air and talk about a lot of stuff. I know a lot of us have emotions while going through this. A lot of us anticipated that the lockdown will be extended and unfortunately it was by another two weeks and it's a lot really it is i've actually been social distancing two weeks prior to the announcement of the lockdown so i've really been in this house for a very very long time and some days are really bad and some days are really good i've actually had more good days than bad which i'm very fortunate and blessed to go through i know a lot of us really struggling with mental health and just having to deal with something of being told to be in your house all the time you can't go out you can't do this you can't do that and the south african government they're weird because the regulations change all the time and so i've actually just stopped scrolling and or looking at like covid 19 information and stuff i watch the news now and then but in retrospect, I just felt like, I just didn't feel like going through that and looking at numbers and it's not going to benefit me in any way and being fearful of these type of things, it's just not going to help me at all. But I've just done my part of staying indoors and flattening the curve as best as I can. But I thought I'll just have a chat, just in general about what's going on. With us, um, particularly financially, it's going to be, I think it's financially impacted so many people. Actually, everyone. It impacted everyone. It might not be financial, but it might impact you in other ways. For us, we, as I'm speaking now, I actually don't know what's going on. If you are new to this channel, you might not know that I am very privileged to have two jobs. I have a full-time job and I have a part-time job, but I get paid a salary for my part-time job if that makes sense my full-time job is totally fine we work remotely i work for an it law firm our business module was designed to be online we just prefer going to the office and i actually miss that but yeah it was anyway designed for us to work remotely and funny enough we are still getting in a crap load of work we are still actively working and so there is still money coming in so we are very fortunate to be in that position with my second job it is a i work for a retail store well, not a, it's a retail store but a, in the textile industry so it's fabric so for a long time we were talking about doing an online business but we needed more hands on deck when it came to that and it just happened that we now have to close down and we are scrambling to do an e-commerce sort of shop but in retrospect i can't do it like there's only a, to a certain degree that i can help with and then you would need other expertise to fill in and to actually progress with the e-commerce site it's not it's not my expertise i'm not gonna i tried it it just wasn't for me it wasn't something that i'm trying to do <laughs> and sometimes it's okay to say you can't do this and you have to hire someone else and that's in the position that we are currently in it's been very frustrating because there's a lot of people that's now involved i'm kind of the only one other than the boss itself that's still working the others can't because they are sales people or they are managers or they are installers they all at home but i'm still doing the social media for this company the day before the lockdown i'd actually gone to my employer and i was like i don't know what's going on you need to tell me because i'm not there in the week i only work on a saturday so i don't know what communication is being said to the employees i wish i didn't go but i had to because i knew clarity of what my financial outlook was going to look like burst out in tears and i've been working there for five years i've never seen him like that and i know a lot of small businesses are going through this it's just this has put me off to be a business owner like in all honesty when he said that he could pay my full month salary for march which he did moving forward he said that he could either give me half for salary or if it's really bad on his side it can only give me a stipend but he's retrenched a whole bunch of people he's only kept the people that he knew he genuinely needed when the shop opened so i don't know what the month of april is gonna look like i know that i will get a full salary for my full-time job but i don't know what kind of salary i'm getting for my part-time job courtney on the other hand there was a whole lot of drama 
and I'm sure it was a lot of companies that had to be in various meetings and sort of strategize how the outlook of the company is going to look like, what is the action plan in like two or three days when the lockdown was announced. He works for a really big company. It is a supermarket, a clothing store and a liquor store that's under this corporation's name. He works for the clothing side, he's been there for 10 years. Obviously they had to close, the liquor stores were going to be open and then last minute they decided that the liquor stores needed to be closed and it was just how that last week basically he didn't know what was going on he's the manager of one of the stores and the manager above him when he was trying to communicate what was going on they had a lot of questions his staff had a lot of questions they wouldn't answer um they actually ignored phone calls they ignored emails they literally just and all the communication by the way was discuss via whatsapp like honestly we're a group of 20 people in my like full-time job and we got an email stating what things are going to look like for the client and what's going to look like for us with us working remotely and we got like an official like email they didn't even get that for this big company last minute like the day before the lockdown they literally got told that they have three options one they would use the need to use the annual leave now Courtney was okay was using well actually it's not okay was using it but if push comes to shove and there's there's a whole lot of debates about using I actually don't even know the laws anymore. He was okay if push comes to shove that he needs to use his annual leave. He's got five and a half weeks of leave because retail works differently compared to like with someone who works in a corporate company and you only have 15 days of leave a lot of his staff only started two or three months ago so they only have like two or three days of leave and that was the one option the second option was that they get unpaid leave if they take unpaid leave for example if it was for 21 days you are not allowed to take leave for 21 months like that was literally what they said which is so it's illegal in my opinion and the third option was that um they could work at a supermarket and when it was like i've worked in the clothing industry for 10 years there's no way in how i'm working at a supermarket so far no communication as to what is proceeding it seems like it's business as usual because the last thing he got communicated from his manager was that he has to put in the May schedule like that was it there was no like what's happening now etc starting to see the true colors of these big corporations that say they've got like your well-being in mind and then when push comes to shove or a crisis like this happens and they actually don't Court and I are still very fortunate and blessed and privileged to have a roof over our head We've got food on the table. We are able to afford the basic necessities. Obviously, you guys know I'm on a debt-free journey. And so, you know, spending money frivolously was not our thing. It's been in the process for a long, for a few months now. We are saving money in terms of like fuel and um, not going out and stuff. Not that we actually did go out in any case. We are feeling the crunch because of financial uncertainty. We both still have our jobs. So we're still privileged. We're really still blessed in that. That regard there are days that i feel really bad um there are days that i feel really good but one of the things that i've noticed on social media is people telling us how you need to feel how you need to be how productive you need to be during this time how you should be after the lockdown and i'm just like screw it this is all new to us and however see fit do what makes you happy whether it is that you sit on your couch all day and watch reruns of the big bang theory which scott and i are doing i'm still working so i've got that keeping me going but there are days where i'm like screw this i'm doing a half day like it's okay it's honestly okay cry if you need to be happy if you need to check to friends if you need to i'm finding it very difficult to skype friends and it's because honestly i can't deal with the problems and then having to deal with mine i just don't have the energy in me like i want to be a really good friend but i can't be a good friend if i myself am not in a good space in the beginning of the lockdown i really did have skype chat but now i've just like i'm not in that space right now it's gonna be interesting to see how things go back to normal it's gonna be a new normal and i think for a long time we are still gonna be very cautious about touching people and being in the same space as people as what we usually were prone to i know that a lot of us especially as travel enthusiasts and travel bloggers are trying to push local businesses but in all honesty if i'm gonna be really honest with you 
I don't mind pushing those businesses, but when this lockdown is over, I am not going to be spending money. And so that is also going to be something that's going to be of an issue because a lot of us have either lost our jobs, have either got half pay, have either not been paid at all. And so trying to help a small business is not realistic, it's not on top of our list, it's trying to survive. And so if push comes to shove, we either even get, I don't know how long this thing's going to be, I don't know how long the the lockdown is going to be for it might even be extended for a longer period of time the first thing that i'm spending money on is not travel and it's not buying clothes and it's not earrings and things like that because i want to have the money i don't mind sharing travel spots and stuff because if you have the means and that's the first thing that you want to do i know courtney said the first thing that he wants to do is leave our apartment and go somewhere else like that was the thing like i need to get somewhere else because i think we all sick of the four walls at the moment i just thought i'd eat that and share that with you guys because because sometimes putting your stuff on social media mm, can be very judgmental. It's all of us. We all impacted and affected in some way or another. Most of it is obviously financially. Just take a breath once in a while. Don't feel crap about not being productive or doing anything. Do what works for you. Stay indoors right and be healthy as best you can. Also, is you guys well also like grocery bills are like really expensive because I found like I'm going to the shop every four days because Courtney's eating me out and my snack bowl I've never had a snack bowl before but now I have a snack bowl because we're eating our feelings but that's basically what we're doing we're eating our feelings I'll see you in my next video and have an awesome awesome day bye guys